Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we are going to be going to Hershey Park. This is one of my all-time favorite theme parks, and they have amazing roller coasters. In fact, they have a brand new roller coaster called Wildcat's Revenge, and I wanted to come out and show you guys around. So we're going to eat some food, ride some rides, and have a beautiful Hershey Park kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. And we have made it to Hershey, Pennsylvania. I can smell the chocolate already. In front of us is Hershey's Chocolate World, which is like a little chocolate factory tour. And then the theme park is over here. But I think we're going to start off in Chocolate World. Hershey's Chocolate World is completely free to the public and you don't need to have a theme park ticket to go inside and it's really awesome in there because they have a dark ride that shows you how chocolate is made and you can buy a bunch of candy and I highly suggest if you come here to start off here and then walk down to the theme park because that's where you're going to need to buy a ticket to go into the park itself. That's where all of the rides are and I love this dark ride. It's so much fun. When you buy a ticket to go into Hershey Park, you actually get all of these included in the ticket price. You get the boardwalk at Hershey Park, which is like a Hershey Park water park. And then they have Zoo America, which is a North American wildlife park. And then Hershey's Chocolate World and Hershey Park. So it's kind of like you're getting four different parks with one ticket, except for they're just a little bit smaller. Hershey Park has 76 rides here. That is so impressive for one single theme park. And it also has 12 roller coasters. Well, technically 13 roller coasters if you count the newest one, Wildcat's Reve uh, Revenge, which just opened up like two weeks ago. Once you get inside Hershey's Chocolate World, they have a bunch of different interactive experiences. But the thing that I love most is the chocolate tour. And I think we're gonna head right on over there. Mom, what are you getting? Some Twizzlers? Some Twizzlers? They always have. Twizzlers. Oh, filled Twizzlers. Yeah. I always say they have interesting Twizzlers, like uh, flavors of candy here. Orange creamsicle, orange cream pop. Peach. Oh, peach Twizzlers? Yeah. That's fancy. Whenever I say Hershey, I'm also referring to the town itself because we are in Hershey, Pennsylvania, in Hershey's Chocolate Town at Hershey Park. And it can get a little confusing, but uh, it's everything Hershey over here. It's known as the sweetest place on earth. And even the uh, signs and the lights and everything like that all say Hershey on it. So it's really cool. Right now, Hershey's Chocolate World is celebrating its 50th anniversary and it has changed a lot since 1973. Look at it. And this is the ride that we're going on. Now it's different ride vehicles, but look at how cool that is. I can definitely see this ride being an Epcot because it's like that perfect like little educational ride, you know? Welcome aboard the Hershey's Chocolate Factory Tour. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. We're on our way to the Hershey Chocolate Factory. Your guide will meet you at the entrance. See you inside. hopping out of the hay oh and then we got a little cupcake here hi my name is Alex I'm a quality supervisor here at the Hershey chocolate factory I was asked to be your guide today and I can't wait to show you around everyone ready let's go it all starts with cocoa beans which are harvested and shipped to us from tropical regions around the world we send the cocoa beans to March cleaning machines and screen and thoroughly remove unwanted parts like pulp and bits of cacao pod. We pour the blended cocoa beans into large revolving roasters which get extremely hot. Toasty in here, isn't it? <laughs> Next, 
we quickly cool the beans and feed them into our breaking chamber, which packs open the shells at high speed. Milling machines generate lots of heat through intense pressure and friction. The grinding turns cocoa beans into the smooth, dark liquid used to make milk and dark chocolate. We pasteurize and condense the sweet milk and then blend in the perfect amount of unsweetened chocolate. This is where the art of chocolate making all comes together. As the mixture cooks, it begins to form delicious little pieces that we call chocolate crumbs. It smells so amazing in here. And it makes you want to buy candy as soon as you get off. Oh, yeah. And they have candy for sale as soon as you get off. Yep. Time to go share some goodness. <laughs> Hershey's. Oh, what is this? Wow. Wow, this is fancy. I don't remember this. Oh, this is all new because of the 50th. You can see. Wow. Wow, that's cool. Once the tour is done, there's someone at the exit that actually gives everybody free candy. So you get a little free candy when you go on the chocolate tour. Thank you. Look at that. A little free Hershey's milk chocolate. And look at this place. Look how big, big it is in here. This is, uh, honestly, you could spend a lot of time just in chocolate world alone. Now that the chocolate tour is over, it's time to head in the park itself. And look, there's Candymonium right there. The tallest roller coaster at uh, Hershey Park. That's such a fun ride. But they have so many roller coasters. This park is actually massive. And uh, it takes a long time to actually go through all of it. We bought our tickets online and it was just about $62 a person and then they had an option to buy like a fast track like a skip the line option and that was $120 uh, a person so it's double the amount of the ticket to skip the lines. I don't know if we're going to need that today so we're not going to purchase it and we're just going to monitor the wait times and see how it goes. And we have officially made it in the park. Look at Candymonium right there. That is such a fun roller coaster. And you can see a lot of rides as soon as you walk in. So uh, we're going to see which one we want to go to first. Maybe over to the newest one. 
one of the things I love about Hershey Park is it's got like the big time thrill rides of like a major theme park, but then it also has like small like wooden roller coaster and kitty rides and also like amusement style food. So it's almost like you're getting the best of both worlds. Look at this, you can actually meet Twizzler and Hershey. Look at that, hi, hi guys. Very cool, it's very nice to meet ya. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. Well, that's a great way to start. As soon as we walked in the park, we got to see Hershey and Twizzler. And there, there's characters all around that you can take photos with. You can take a photo with Jolly Rancher. There's actually a Jolly Rancher. There's uh, the Kisses, or Kiss. There's so many of them and it's really awesome. So we're gonna keep our eye out for more characters. The first ride we're gonna go on in the park is honestly what I would consider the scariest ride in the park, the sky view. And the main reason I wanna do it is so I wanna give you guys a kind of a aerial shot of how big the park is. And this is basically like a skyline gondola, but it just scares me. <laughs> this is so cool, but scary at the same time. You can see we've got Sky Rush over there. You got Comet, one of the oldest roller coasters in the park. Bonnie's in a Twizzler there. Looks like she's talking to that man. The Great Bear. <laughs> the Super Duper Looper over there. I'm so excited. Oh, I don't want to drop my phone. But look at this. We're high up. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, I'm in a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. I just noticed that. You got the uh, drop towers over there. Look at this. There's the kissing tower right there. It goes all the way up the kissing tower. I can't wait to just ride all these rides. I'm not that scared once we start going. It's the initial takeoff though. I get a little nervous. I mean, I, like, why is this cord dangling? Look at that one random cord just hanging down low like that. Where's that going? Oh my Lord, it's shaking a little bit. Look at Bonnie. <laughs> Something that's really cool about this ride is the roller coasters get super close to you though. Look, here comes the Great Bear coming at us. Watch, you can see it come to, I think it's loop right here. And like, we're right here too. This is a fun ride, here we go. Like, look how close that is. All right, it's time to head on back. This ride takes you over to one side of the park and then takes you back and drops you off where you started. But I just wanted to ride it to show you guys a little bit of a higher perspective of the park. I told Bonnie, I'm not riding with you. Look at here she comes. <laughs> See you later. See you at the top. The sky view was a perfect way to start, and now we're gonna make our way over to the newest attraction here at Hershey Park, Wildcat's Revenge, which it used to be a regular wooden coaster called Wildcat, and now it is a hybrid. It's a steel wooden roller coaster, so I'm very excited. It just opened like a week ago. Oh, look, there's Reese's actually taking photos too. Wow, that's my favorite. I'm a Reese's guy. A majority of the rides are not allowed to bring cameras and cell phones on, but we're still gonna actually uh, show you POV footage that Hershey Park has provided for us. And it's really fun because the lease gives you kind of an idea of what the rides are like. And here it is, Wildcat's Revenge. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks so shiny with the red track there. And it looks like somebody, looks like a car is heading up right now. This is gonna be fun. I think the top speed is like 62 miles per hour. So it's gonna be really interesting. And it's in the same location. Like I said, this used to be a, a, a regular just wooden roller coaster. We're gonna have to put our stuff away in the locker now, but I'll pick up with the POV footage of the ride itself.
Mom, what'd you think? That was one of the best rides here. Right? Okay. Wasn't it funny how when you're going upside down, yeah, you're literally you're like upside down. Yeah. That was so good. I loved the Wildcats Revenge. It was so cool because as you were going up, it was actually going real slow. The climb was slow and then it sped up. And I liked how they had different handlebars to hang on to. And it was really smooth. It was very smooth and it was fast. It was, it, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I think I want to stop and get something to eat maybe at the Spring Creek Smokehouse. It's a nice little barbecue spot. I like the sides here. I might want to get a cornbread muffin. A little cornbread. Oh, you can smell that barbecue. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Mm. The smokers are out and about. Look at that. Oh, boy. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. A lot of theme parks, they're really not known for having decent food. But look at this right here. The smokers are out back. They've got like really good sides. I like it. They've got ribs, they've got brisket, they've got pulled pork, turkey legs, mac and cheese, baked beans, redskin mash, cornbread, monkey bread, strawberry shortcake, everything. Freshly made in-house. Freshly made in-house right there. Look at that. All right, here is the food. I decided on going with the brisket sandwich. Look at all of that brisket they give you. Holy moly. Bon Bon got the uh, smoked chicken and then the mac and cheese, which the mac and cheese looks phenomenal. Right there, look at that. And then also a little cornbread muffin too. And this is all made in-house, fresh. So I'm very excited to dive in. I'm used to the birds at Disney, but I am not used to these things. Oh my lord. What is this? Oh, they're coming in hot. What is this, little babies? I'm a little afraid right now. I can't give you any food. We've had this talk already. It's not natural. I know you want it. It looks like you got a lot of it on your face. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. This is definitely one of my favorite places to eat in the park. Got to add some of the barbecue sauce right to the brisket there. Look at that. Gonna blump it on there. Bada boom, bada bing. Just like that. The bun is nice too. Made fresh in house. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with fresh barbecue. That brisket is phenomenal. So good. How's the chicken bun? Very good. Very did, hot right now. Did right? you dive into the mac and cheese yet? Not yet. We need to see the cheese bowl. Scoop that mac. Go ahead. Oh, oh, that was a pretty good cheese bowl there. Yeah, that looks good. Mm. Don't feed the ducks or geese. Don't feed any wildlife. <laughs> there is actual corn inside the cornbread. Look at that. That is impressive. It is so good, too. I absolutely love this. The wait times have not been that bad. I've noticed it's like roughly around 30 minutes for like the bigger rides. So I'm happy we didn't get to skip the line pass because that would have been a waste of money. But I'm sure on a very busy day, that will come in handy in case you want to get everything done. The Spring Creek Smokehouse was delicious. And now since we're over here, I think we're going to go ride Trailblazer. A nice uh, roller coaster through the kind of the wilderness through the woods it's really nice i love this ride it's one of the first roller coasters i've ever ridden trailblazer is like a kiddie ride almost it's a very fast roller coaster no drops no like uh flips or loops or anything like that and uh it's just for nostalgic reasons i really do like it i think it's a fun little coaster here comes our train car nice slowly into station i also like how they have the little sliding doors for your loose articles over there. Nice little scenic route. Oh boy. 
Oh, it's Rocky! fun quick ride it doesn't last that long it's not that thrilling but it's got sentimental value to it and that's all that matters well there you have it there's the trailblazer it was like literally under 60 seconds now it's time to move along and i think we want to do bonnie's favorite ride the coal cracker one of the things I want to point out about this park is it's built on hills so there's a lot of hill climbing and if you have a big stroller or a non-motorized wheelchair it can get a little difficult. Oh they actually have a uh, aquatic theater too where you can see some sea lions but I remember coming here and pushing my grandma around in her like wheelchair and it was tough getting up some of these hills. Very tough. Only in Pennsylvania will you find a milk vending machine. Just milk. You got chocolate or regular. Turkey Hill style. And they even have candy bars here. And you know it's all gotta be Hershey's, you know? Like can you imagine if they just stuck some other candy in there? Gertrude Hawks. I don't think I've ever seen anything as cool as this. They have like a Plinko. Is that what you call it? Plinko? Yeah. And you pay two discs for five dollars, but one of the prizes is one of those fast tracks, like skip the line. So you can literally play five dollars and try to win a uh, skip the skip the line pass, valid for one ride. How cool is that? I feel like that's worth the risk. Go ahead, Bond, get up there. Let's see what you got. Get us that fast track, all right? I believe in you. Two. Oh, 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 no, you're going the wrong way. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, look how close we were. Holy moly. So we got, what, two and three equals five. <laughs> what do you get? You want something. Oh, you want a little Hershey bear, huh? Oh, is that for the baby? Yeah. What baby? What Ariel. baby? So it's a tradition now for me and Bon Bon to play the ring toss game because Bonnie actually won this one time. Where was it? Six, fa six flags, right? Yeah. yeah, she won it at six flags. So now I feel like we have to do it every single time. Yeah, I got you the Charizard. Yeah, I've got a gigantic Charizard. All right, Bon, I'm going the value. $15 for the value right there. And I was so excited because I brought cash for this and they don't take cash anymore. Oh, is that what we get for the value? You get a big and a small? Well, you get the big one since you're the champ already, all right? Here we go. <laughs> I'm like, any second. <laughs> Come on, Bon, I know you can do it. Oh, 
I seen that. Oh! Last one. Last one. Ah, uh, should we get it? Oh, last one. It's all you. Oh, not today. Not today. But we did walk away with consolation prizes. Look at that. Because we bought the value, uh, like, pack, we got free hats. This is not our hats. This is the new hat of the year. Yeah! <laughs> Look at this, this is like the essential theme park food over here. Dippin' Dots, a walking taco, and the tower of french fries. Like these are the fresh cut french fries. It's like every other theme park in the world. I love it though. Look at that little picture of them feeding each other french fries. That's so cute. Bonnie was just not feeling the magic today. But now we're gonna go ride her favorite ride, the Coal Cracker. You just love that ride. I do. Here is a map of the whole entire park. And like I said, this place is massive. This is where we entered in right here. And then you got Hershey's Chocolate Town. You got Candymonium here, Sky Rush, the Kissing Tower. Like it goes on and on. Zoo America, then over to Boardwalk. And then in the far corner, you have Lightning Racer, which is a wooden racing like roller coaster. Yeah, we're definitely riding that today. I'm glad we waited until later on in the afternoon to ride this because you can get a little bit wet here. It's a little bit of a wet ride, but I like it. It is fun. It, it is a good ride. Thanks, we've actually gotten a lot done in just the time that we've been here. We've only been here, I would say, at least four hours. I w yeah, four hours just about. And we got a lot done, I feared her. And it took us just about two hours to drive here from our hometown. There goes the great bear. They call it the Great Bear because it sounds like a bear when it's rolling through here. It feels like a bear roar. And the ride that we're riding, the Coal Cracker, it's like a, uh, it's like a uh, water roller coaster. You can see it right there. Look at it. <laughs> Look at our hats. We're going all the way up. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, it's so peaceful. It's a very peaceful ride. Look at this though. Oh, I love it. Oh, we might catch the super duper looper hitting the super duper loop. Oh, coming in hot. <laughs> Here it goes. So you drop down right about here and you'll see someone come down. You go flying, the thing actually gets you, you get air time. Look at that. Oh, you can hear the bear again. But that is so cool. The ride itself is so nice. We made our way up from the coal cracker and we're over by the kissing tower and the classic cars. I love both of these attractions. They're not like thrill rides, but they're so fun, and I'm wondering if we should do both. We're gonna do the kissing tower first. Bon, don't be trying to kiss me now, you hear? I, I, I won't, I promise. Kissing is allowed, but please, no food, drinks, or smoking beyond this point. It's hard to smooch with your mouth full. When I was a kid, I used to come here, like, for high school field trips, and I used to say, you know what, I'm gonna get a girlfriend one day, and I'm gonna kiss her in this tower. <laughs> You get a beautiful view of all of Hershey, Pennsylvania from the Kissing Tower. I can't wait to show you guys. Oh boy, we're in it now. And yes, they do have some type of AC in here. You gotta go all the way around. Welcome to the Hershey Park Kissing Tower. For your safety, please remain seated during the ride and refrain from sitting or leaning on the doors and windows. Smoking is prohibited. Thank you and enjoy your ride. The Kissing Tower stands 330 feet high from its base to the flagpole. Today our cabin 
will climb 250 feet into the air, making three rotations during the ride. Take in the views of Hershey, Pennsylvania, and listen to the story of how it came to be. Our founder, Milton S. Hershey, opened his chocolate factory in the middle of Derry Township in 1905. He chose this location due to the convenient access to fresh milk from local farms. Today, his factory town is known as Hershey, the sweetest place on earth. With Milton Hershey's support, houses, businesses, and entertainment came into existence, creating the town we know today. Let's take a closer look at some of the attractions inspired. There's the coal cracker, what we just Hershey rode. Park was originally created as leisure grounds for the employees of Hershey's Chocolate Factory. Today, our family theme park has more than 70 attractions, including 15 coasters. Coming this summer, our all-new wood and steel hybrid coaster, Wildcat's Revenge, takes riders through one-of-a-kind thrills found only at Hershey Park. Climb a 140-foot hill, hit max speed. They have a monorail, too. Look at that. Dive into an 82-degree drive. Largest underflip on three custom We're trains. just going to wear these hats now all the time. We'll see all the time. All right, it's time to make our way back down. Here we go. We're going to have to make an executive decision here. I really want to ride the cars, but I think we got to get to Lightning Racer. Yeah. Come on, let's go. You look like a Squidward. Not even Squidward, I don't even know what you look like. Squidhead. <laughs> Squidhead. Looks like the Jolly Rancher remix opened back up. So maybe we might go ride that before we make our way to Lightning Racer. This is a fun ride, and it's really cool when you go in the tunnels because it's like a little party in there, and I like it a lot. I just realized my hat actually matches the Jolly Rancher remix. It actually fit in perfectly. And that was a fun ride, very thrilling. Especially, like I said, when you go through those tunnels, it feels like you're heading into like a nice little party. Bon Bon's been walking in front of me, but she's pretty easy to spot with her hat on. So as long as she keeps that on, I can see her straight ahead. <laughs> Did you think you were safe from that? <laughs> Yo, you got soaked. <laughs> I feel like I just laughed for an hour straight. <laughs> that was one of the greatest things I think I've ever caught on camera. Holy moly. I can't get over it. Now that you're soaking wet, Bon, it's time to race. Lightning Racer, right here. Look at that. It's a dueling wooden roller coaster. Me and Bonnie will definitely have to be on different sides. This roller coaster is, like I said, a dual racing roller coaster. So you have two tracks and two different cars. One side is called Lightning, one side is called Thunder, and you race each other to the finish line, and it is a very bumpy ride. It's, a, it's, it's rough, but it's so much fun. Oh yeah. Okay, they're coming, I can hear them. Ah, looks like Thunder won. Yep. Right here is the split. You can choose uh, Thunder or Lightning and then separate from there. And you can choose either one you want.
ride is so intense like it like shakes you you can feel everything shaking but I love it it's definitely rivaling Knoebel's wooden coasters in my opinion I think it's one of the best out there and now uh, yeah we won we won we won thunder I almost said love and thunder like Thor love and thunder but it's lightning and thunder I guess it's time for us to exit the park of course, we have to exit through the gift shop and at the Chocolatier restaurant, which is a very good restaurant. Me and Bonbon bon ate here last time we came down and I loved it. Today, we wanna get home because mom's not with us, so we wanna go get dinner with mom. So we're just gonna exit on out and uh, start the long journey home. Right up on the hill there, as you're walking out, you can see Milton Hershey, which is the richest private school I think in the world and it's free for low-income children to actually go to and it's all funded by Hershey Park and the Hershey uh, company how cool is that in fact Hershey Park was first made because they wanted to have a place where uh, the workers from the factory can come play I'm pretty sure even Zoo America that was uh, all created because somebody gave uh, Milton Hershey, I think like two uh, prairie dogs. Like they gave him, they gifted him two prairie dogs and then he was like, I'm gonna put a zoo in my park. We stopped and picked up my mom's favorite pizza and my favorite bites. Definitely have a nice little pizza and bites night. And with that, we are done here today. Time to sit down and eat our drinker pizza and uh, our wing bites. My, I love the wing bites from here. They are so good. My favorite out of anywhere. Uh, but I had a fun day. It was fun to go hang out at Hershey Park. Bonnie had a lot of fun. We got to, lie, got to ride lots of rides. And uh, yeah. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.